Hello everyone and welcome. Carlos here from Everything Tech and today I'm bringing you another tech related video. This time it's an SSD, a 256 GB SSD and because this is not a popular SSD like the Samsung OCZ or Crucial, uh, I decided to make a quick video and um, do some benchmarking tests to see if it stands up to scrutiny. Um, they say that it's got a read speed of 512 megabytes per second and the write speed of 411. So I will be testing this in OS X and I would also be testing it in Windows. So this is the SK Hynix, don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, SH910 series. So this comes with a three year warranty and as you can see it's a 256 gigabyte model. So let's open it up and have a look. Let's see what we get inside the box. It's nicely presented in my opinion. Quite a nice box. So on the top we have the SSD in a little tray, I like that. And put that aside for a second. And inside we have a user guide. And don't know what that is. But yeah, it comes in a mm, couple of languages and it also has uh, some explanations on how to fit the drive. Inside of this, there is nothing else. It's blank. Okay, so the SSD. So it's pretty minimalistic, nothing major inside the box. And now I'll just take this seal out and have a look at it. So it's quite nice. It's a um, white shiny surface as you can see. On this side it's got the metal surface. Set to three and there's not much more to see. So let's go on the computer now and have a look how fast this drive is. Okay, so on the computer now and I formatted the drive in um, Mac OS X journaled. Uh, let me just have a quick look. So it is formatted as um, Mac OS X extended journaled and one of the things that I found out is that um, there are errors on a brand new drive that I've just unboxed um, on the smart. The smart is analyzing errors on the drive so I'm going to get back in touch with um, Amazon and see if they can replace the drive or what would they do in the circumstances like this. In circumstances like this so anyway so here we go so it, it comes up as a 250 55 gigabytes available so the drive is clean I named it Hynix just for the purpose of this video and uh, let's test the speed of the drive I did a few tests and they come out really good uh, I'm surprised uh, about the speed of the drive but that it's got errors I don't know if that is just um, the program that I'm using or if it is really the drive has got uh, errors but I'm not risking anything so I'm gonna get back in touch with them and see if they can send me back uh, send me a new drive uh, so right so this is the situation I'm gonna test the drive in Mac OS X and then I'm gonna go into Windows and I'm gonna test the drive in Windows as well so for the Mac OS X um, test. Uh, I'm going to use Disk Speed Test by Blackmagic Design, which is one of my favorites. 
and I will test my Yosemite as well. Obviously, my it's a Toshiba drive that I've got, a 128 gigabyte Toshiba drive as my OS drive, uh, and you'll see it's quite an expensive drive the the, the Toshiba that I've got. Uh, and you will see, you know, what what sort of performance you get out of a, a decent drive compared to a budget drive, which is the Hynix. Okay, so let's just see. Just run it. So four hundred and one and four fifty. Five hundred and two. And you know, I've run I've run this test. A couple of times now and this is what I get um, maximum read was 524 maximum write was 412 um, but which is phenomenal uh, for me I think it's phenomenal in terms of um, the price that I paid for it compared to my Toshiba SSD which is only half the size but um, I'm surprised. Really, really great performance uh, from this drive. And now I will just stop this test now, so as you can see, you know, it it, it fluctuates between 500 and 500 and odd and 400 and odd, basically. I'll quickly show you my Yosemite drive, so you guys can see exactly what. Um, I'm getting on my Toshiba drive, so you go. So it's a little bit higher, but not much more. And it was much more expensive than this Hynix drive. Um, I think I've, I paid a couple of years ago, or a year ago, I paid for the Toshiba as much as I paid for twice the storage on a Hynix. So it's it's well worth this drive as long as there are no errors and uh, you know I don't get any um, smart um, warnings then I think this drive is going to be a good one if it lasts performance wise I'm surprised it's really really good okay so let's go into Windows and have a look in Windows and see how this drive behaves Okay, so I've started uh, doing some more investigation uh, for this drive in uh, Windows now, uh, and because uh, I formatted it uh, in OS X, uh, the problem that I had was that it was like um, on the top here, I don't know if you can see the mouse, uh, on the S SSD benchmark on the left where it says uh, the details about your drive and um, it's got the two OKs in green it was giving me a 1K bad and so I had to delete all the partitions and reformatted it and I for reformatted it in 4K I don't know if you're going to have issues like this if you do indeed buy this um, SSD but I had some issues there, they were saying they was bad and I did some investigating and it apparently is regarding the 4K formatting and I did that but it's actually saying it's okay now and it's 1024K which I don't uh, understand because I formatted it 4K despite that I did some benchmarkings beforehand while this was showing bad and I had terrible terrible scores in here on the crystal disk mark so uh, what I did after I formatted it and made sure that everything was okay on here as SSD benchmark I went back and retested on the crystal disk uh, mark and now comparing with uh, other drives out there this is a phenomenal result uh, in terms of uh, budget 256 gigabyte SSD it's really really good I'm really surprised to get these results these results are better than my Toshiba which was 128 gig and it cost me the same as this one that is 256 anyway so I did do the crystal disk mark beforehand and these are the scores that I get 
and I'm going to do this one in real time so you guys can see to see if it actually matches up to the crystal disk benchmark so here we go So 403 is a bit off, but not by much. It's quite good. Another thing that I did is I used another um, a piece of software called uh, let me see, uh, HD Tune Pro, and it's analyzing no errors on the disk or anything of the sort. Um, the disk is healthy. I don't know if the errors I was getting was due to the to the formatting being wrong and uh, the software being old and not having an update on uh, OS X for a while and obviously it's not uh, prepared for the SSD so I, I don't know what it is but I will go back into uh, OS X and retest this drive to see if it's still analyzing smart errors but despite that I want to go and have a word with uh, the supplier to see um, if by sending me another drive, I will have the, the same issues, or I, I really don't know, but definitely it is a little bit worrying, but um, I'm not as worried now that I've tested the drive in uh, Windows and I formatted it uh, correctly. But there you go, so uh, that just finished, and I've got a 993 score, which is higher than my Toshiba, which was 800. Uh, sorry, 903. So it's it's much better than my Toshiba. At least that's what it looks like anyway. So and now I'll just quickly uh, close this down and show you just the HD Tune Pro. As you can see, there's no errors on the drive whatsoever. The health of the drive is fine. It says... Um, it's got loads of unknown attributes, so I guess this is what's causing the confusion on the on uh, the smart tests in uh, OSX. But nothing here worrying me at all, so I don't know what to do. Anyway, so this is the end of this video. I hope you enjoy it. Please give it a thumbs up, or if you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. If you would like to watch more of my videos, uh, they are all on my channel. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.